Well, howdy folks, and welcome to this last episode of Season 2 for the Humpty Doo Save using Skullduggery's Australian Database. We're going to cover a lot of ground in this episode so we can wrap up the season and finally get into using FM24. To be very honest with you all, I've been editing recorded material for months now, so it'd actually be good to play the game again. I guess the question on everyone's lips is, can we go back to back? The other more poignant question is, can we avenge last year's loss in the final of the Coca-Cola Cup? By the end of this episode, both of these questions will have been answered. The January transfer window saw quite a bit of action as we tried to future-proof the team against the departures that we know are going to happen. The signing of Dildo Swaggins, Chris Twerdek, Tucker and Brutalize should help soften the blow of losing stars such as Doug Fleeballs, the boy that can't be named, the Nigerian Prince and Levi Goldschmeckel. So, getting back to the competition. In round 22, we took on top 5 aspirant Port Darwin, only to have a 4-1 comfortable victory with Wilkins, Bannerman, pierced off and the boy all scoring goals. Round 23 saw us totally decimate the relegation bound Mindel Aces 7-1, with the boys scoring 4 and the Doff brothers both bagging a goal each. In round 24, it pitted us against another top 5 team in Enfield City, but this turned out to be a highly attacking game with 9 goals scored in total. The final score was 6-3, and the boy, throwing down the gauntlet to his own teammate pierced off, scored an amazing 5 goals. In round 25, once again, we put the hammer down in attack, putting 7 goals past Adelaide Galaxy. Pierced off in response to the boys' 5 goals the week before, scored 4 of his own. But the real interest was in the performance of our new signing, Brutalize, who bagged 2 goals for himself. After that, it was quarter-final time in the Coca-Cola Cup, seeing us away to Floriat Athena. The team as a whole were greatly boosted to hear of the demise of their nemesis, ECU Jundalop, in the previous round. EC Jundalop, you might remember, beat us in the final of last year's event, and the boys will accept nothing less than avenging that loss this year. Florida Athena were never in this game, going down 6-0 with Wilkins scoring four goals. We'll have yet another way trip to Handorf for the semi-final. In round 26, we hosted fellow promoted side Adelaide River in yet another contest between us. Our last encounter was a very close 6-5 result in the Coca-Cola Cup after leading the match comfortably so it was important that we didn't take this game for granted. In the end, it was a comfortable 4-1 victory, although the Adelaide River boys initially made it hard for us, scoring an equalising goal just before half-time to make it 1-1. Pierced off once again scored a hat-trick. The win saw us 11 points clear in the competition with still 8 rounds to play, so going back to back looks like a definite possibility at this stage. In round 27, we went away to Whale Wanderers, but the home team were never in the hunt and we scored a comfortable 4-0 victory. New signing Brutalize continued his good form with another goal and it was pleasing to see Cleveland Steamer take the opportunity to add to his tally for the year despite limited opportunities at this level. Round 28 saw us host mid-table Alice Springs Uluru. Bill Wilkins scored a hat-trick in a clinical 4-1 win which took us ever closer to back-to-back -back promotions. Josh Barton was the other goal scorer, another player who generally takes the opportunities he is given. Round 29 saw Brutalize come up against his old club, the Tiwi Islands. He was to have the last laugh in the encounter, scoring a goal and generally playing well in the 4-0 win. Pierced off continued his ominous form, bagging yet another hat-trick in a very professional win. The semi-final of the Coca-Cola Cup turned out to be a wholly one-sided affair, with the boys and Brutalize both bagging braces. In the 6-0 demolition of Handorf, our opponent for the final has also been decided and we will take on West Adelaide. And we will actually watch that game in full. Round 30 then took us away to Casuarina with a chance to wrap the competition up, depending on the result of the Mars Bar Sugar FK Biograd match. Both Brutalize and Pierce Doff scored braces as the team easily dispensed of Casuarina 6-2. The ensuring 1-1 draw between FK Biograd and Mars Bar Sugar meant that we were 13 points clear with only four games left, and so we were crowned champions for the second year running. Well done, boys. With the competition sewn up, we then hosted relegation contenders Modri Vista and had a comfortable 4-1 victory with the boy picking up a hat-trick. Next to fall in our hand was mid-table Dundee United. Once again, the scoreline was 4-1 with a highly talented youngster Zulkafati scoring a brace, one of the few starts that he's had this year. Yet another 4-1 result, this time defeated 3rd place Mars Bar Sugar saw the youngster Lucky Bulger scoring a brace. 
And in the final game of the season, we took on FK Beograd. Earlier in the season, they had taken us to a 3 all draw, but despite playing them away, we had a comfortable 5-1 win, with both Pierce's brother Nick and the boys scoring braces. So now, the only thing left to do is to see how we do in the Coca-Cola Cup Final. Can we avenge last year's defeat? Without further ado, let's watch the match together. So it's a big welcome to you all coming to you from Traeger Park for this Coca-Cola Central West Cup final between Humpty Doo and West Adelaide. Danny Dickmeister has the armband today. Good to see him in the goal there. He, he's been competing with Fisher all year. And Brutalize is starting with Pierce Stoff. So we don't see the boy that can't be named there. Interesting selection there. Be interesting to see how we go. And there's Brutalize on the board. Five minutes in, his 30th goal of the season, remembering that he has come from us uh, to us from the Tiwi Islands. So, bad defence there. They were unable to clear the ball out. And then Chen with the head, and there's Brutalise, putting the ball past the keeper with ease. So, 1-0 after five minutes. A great start for the Humpty Doo boys. So, one shot, one on target, one goal. A good start to the boys. The game seems to be settling a little bit now. There's Trimmer Fat. He's ready to kick it out from the back. Plays it to flea balls. He holds it up a little bit there. And he's been, and Wilkins has been brought down, but no, no, nothing from the ref there. But Brutalise scores the second goal of the game. So 15 minutes, 2-0 over West Adelaide. Already the boys are looking very confident and looking like they are going to go all the way this year. West Adelaide kicking off there. There's a, another Giorgio there. I don't know if they're related. And Schumacher at the back there for Humpy Do, although he can't get the ball there. That was Mantis. Back to Skull by the looks. Flea Balls now pushing it forward to Doff. Brutalise again. And there's Bookie crossing it in. Shan there. And Brutalise tries to get the goal there, but Hatsukuris is up for the challenge there. The West Adelaide goalkeeper. They played out from the back, but Farts intercepts. And there's Flea Balls putting the ball through to... Brutalise getting the goal. So it's 3-0 and he's already got a hat-trick after 17 minutes. What a great signing he's already turned out to be. Winning the game on his own at this point in time. About 10 minutes out before half time there, and we are still leading 3-0, looking very, very comfortable. There's True up the back there, finds Farts there, just holding the ball up. They're just playing around with the uh, West Adelaide defence at the moment. There's Flea Balls putting the ball through. Brutalise just pushes it wide on that occasion. So that's Cordes kicking it out from the back there. There's Wilkins, but he can't clear it properly. And it looks like Dylan has a shot, but it's well and truly over the bar. So 3-0, heading into half time. And there we have it. So 3-0 at half time. Scammer comes on for Shen. We continue on there. So it's Juma Fat at the back there. Flea balls. Back to Chu. Pushes it forward there. There's Giorgio for West Adelaide trying to find Stephanopoulos, I think his name is. There's Scammer, those got the ball instead. Shuma Fat pushing it forward. And it's Flea Balls who's intercepted there. Doff giving Brutalize another run and he's put it into the crowd. So still 3 0, 53rd minute. West Adelaide out from the back there, but Chu is there and safe as houses. There's Sweat Farts just holding the ball up and kicking it back to Goldschmeckel to Flea Balls. And there's pierced off again, just holding it up there, just playing with the defence at the moment there. Wilkins has been dispossessed though, and Stephanopoulos is going all down the field for West Adelaide. And O'Day crosses it in there, and Riley Dillon has got the goal. So it's 3-1, so they've brought one back. Maybe they can mount a bit of a comeback here now, Giorgio with the throw. And there's flea balls. To Wilkins, Wilkins, and it's been saved easily there. So 3-1, there's Flea Balls pushing it forward, and there's Brutalise pushing it across there. It's been deflected by the West Adelaide defence, but they're still on there. Now, was he onside for that goal? 
Yes, he was. So that's four for Brutalize in this final. I'm just going to make this up now. Looking a little bit tired. The gold trip is a little bit tired, isn't it? But uh, we will... Yeah, we put Farts into the defensive line there and we're bringing Robert Banks on for Goldschmeckle. So, 63rd minute, West Adelaide playing it out from the back. And there's Wilkins with the ball, pushing it forward. There's Brutalise again and he kicks it over the bar again. But he's already got four goals, he doesn't want really to be too greedy. And we're going to make another substitution now. And Sagas is going to come on for Bookie. So, we'll confirm that sub and then get back into it. 4-1, I think we're comfortably home now. 15 shots to 7, very, very one-sided affair, really. 3.14 to 1.24 for the XG. Stephanopoulos with the ball for West Adelaide. Puts it through to Dick Meister, but does not challenge him in the slightest. And there's Scammer running up the ball there. Uh, there's Brutalize there. Holding it up, pushing it through there, and pierced off gets on the board. So 5-1 with five minutes of regular time to go, give or take. Good vision from Scammer there. And Brutalize does very well. Pips the defense in two minds, puts the ball through. Wilkins straight on to Doff. There's not a lot of competition in that box for the ball there. West Adelaide know their beaten side, I would suggest. Sagas to Wilkins. Wilkins boots it forward again. Can Brutalize get number five? Oh, he's missed. He'd be disappointed with that. Uh, he had a really good option there. Opportunity, should I say. Martinello for West Adelaide. Is this possessed by Sagas? That's very good from the diminutive left winger. And he's holding the ball up slightly. Pushes the ball in for Pierced off. Pierced, uh, and Brutalize gets number five for the day. 6-1 with just three minutes of injury time left. And just running down the clock now, and there it is, full time as the boys walk across the stage. Dick Meister, the captain for today, leading them out there. What a sensational season it's been. We've done the double, we've avenged our defeat to ECU Drindalot from last year. The only uh, competition that we did bow out a little bit too early was the FFA Cup, but uh, the boys should be very proud of their achievements especially since we have lost bodies during the year but we have come up with some pretty decent replacements as you can see brutalized scoring five goals in that final so i don't think we're short of striker power we might be shorter in some of the other positions but our purchases in the january transfer window should shore us up a little bit for what is coming up in the future well done lads Okay, so, best player of the year, the boy that can't be named in the FFA Cup, best player. That's interesting, considering we didn't go all the way there. And also the Golden Boot, eight goals in that competition. And he was the name, the only name in the All-Stars for the FFA Cup. So that's actually a pretty, pretty good job there. Bill Wilkins wins the Coca-Cola Cup Player of the Year. Brutalize in third spot there. And the golden boot goes to Brutalize there. You've got eight goals all together, but five in that final. And you have a truckload of Humpty Doo players there. It's probably more important to mention the players that aren't from Humpty Doo there, Babok in particular. So there you have it, guys. I won't wrap up the season like I have in the past because I, I really just want to get into FM24 now. But there you go. We did the double and uh, we're moving forward in the competitions. So thank you for joining us and hope to see you soon. See you later.